time with Mary Slay says bank. Hey guys, so I guess this is another story time. I'm so upset. I literally just got into a car accident. Well, not just. I got into the car accident at around 8 in the morning. And my car is more messed up than the lady's car. She literally only has a few scratches. And my light is like busted. She called the cops at about 8.30 in the morning. It's literally 11.03 and no one's here so i miss my class i'm about to miss my other class because my next class starts at 11 30 and i'm just waiting for some cops to show up and what's funny is because highway patrol came right because we were in the middle of the street and he saw her car and he looked at my car and he was literally like y'all should just settle this on your own and i was like I uh, know I tried to tell the lady that the lady didn't even know about the Florida law about how it doesn't matter who hits who you're both at fault she literally didn't even know about it and she was like last time I got into an accident it wasn't even my fault and they penalized me so I learned my lesson and in my head I'm like how you learn your lesson like how does that make any sense you literally just said you got penalized it's the same thing you're gonna get penalized it doesn't matter whose fault that's just how it is in florida like did you not know about that and she just looked at me like what the highway patrol literally goes and tells the lady you guys should settle this among yourselves because you're gonna wait for no reason and both of your insurances are gonna go up so she said no she doesn't want to my mom had to come because guess what happened i got locked out of my own car I went to talk to her. I left my stuff in the car. And since I have my laptop and my phone and my wallet and everything, I had it in here. I locked my car, but I forgot I left it in the ignition. So when I came back to open it, that shit was locked. My mom came because we have a spare key. She talked to the lady, same thing. She didn't want to do it. And she goes up to my mom and she's like, I called my husband, he said not to move, so I'm not going to. And like, she was rude to my mom too. Like my mom was talking to her and then she literally answered the phone and rolled up the window while my mom was talking. But yeah, I got in her car cause she let me get in cause it was really hot. And she was being really awkward. So I talk, I, I don't care. I went and I was like, can I ask you something without you getting offended? And she was like, yeah. And I'm like, why are you so persistent on calling the cops when I can literally just give you cash even though there's nothing to fix because I didn't break anything. And she said the same thing. And obviously that didn't make any sense at all. So now we're waiting. There she is. And by the way, a guy literally comes up to me, rolls down his window and start screaming at me talking about how i'm on the phone and he was so pissed and he was literally just insulting me i was on my phone calling my mom to come bring my spare key what is wrong with you there's clearly an accident and you're pissed at me i didn't do anything to you bro relax <laughs> guys i forgot to mention that i also told her that I totally could have left because she didn't even notice that I hit her until I stopped and told her to move up so that we could pull to the side. And I straight up told her I could have left and I know you wouldn't have gotten my license plate. And she got so offended when I told her that. And I was like, I decided not to because I've gotten into a hit and run and it was really bad and my car was totaled from it. And it felt like trash like once they left me there and i didn't want to do the same to you even though i really didn't do anything to your car she was like i have cameras and i'm like okay you can have cameras it's not like it would have taken a picture of my license plate i know i would have been gone and she was like a lot of cars have cameras now and i'm like okay all right guys so the cops came it's 12 20 and 
basically the cop was super sweet and he asked for the license and then you know he did the paperwork he came up to my car and he's like look don't worry about it um the lady just wants her stuff repaired so the insurance will handle that don't give yourself a headache and like we'll dismiss it and i was like so i have the papers i feel better i mean i'm still gonna have to pay probably like 600 dollars worth of damages on my end that's why i work i guess i'm so sad now i'm sad again i'm not happy look at my eyes man you know what that is it's just like for something so stupid i was literally just trying to get into the other lane you know what it's fine guys whatever that's why i work i guess at least we're safe i'm just i'm gonna go home now you guys have experiences of journey with me i'm gonna go home it's pouring pouring okay so cops leaving he was so nice he was so nice it's literally like 10 times nicer than all the bystanders that were just watching me and insulting me whatever guys that's enough for today bye